Hey Taurus, Rising Storm here. So I'm going to be doing your general reading from now until the end of um, August. This is for your mid-month reading. Okay, so I'm going to be looking to your overall view, your energies, the person that you're dealing with, Taurus. Why is it all happening? And the possible outcome from now until the end of August 2020. Keep in mind that these readings can go vice versa. Feel free to switch the storylines however you would like, all right? So what is going on for the Zodiac sign of Taurus in regards to their love lives, please, for the month of August? Give me an overall view. Your energy, Taurus, the person that you're dealing with. Why is it all happening? And the possible outcome for now until the end of August 2020. Let's get two more shuffles in here for the Zodiac sign of Taurus, please. What can you tell me? Give me an overall view. Your energy source, the person that you're dealing with. Why is it all happening? And the possible outcome for now until the end of August 2020. Okay, so what is going on with Taurus here? So, Taurus, your overall energy is the judgment, okay? Let's see what's happening here. You feeling left on the cold from somebody? All right, so the judgment. All right, so you, this is a, a second chance. All right, so there's some sort of a second chance somebody's wanting here. All right, um, could be you, could be them, could be them with Sagittarius. I got Earth sign, Air, uh, Pisces, and Water as well. All right, so you have the Five of Pentacles. So you're feeling left out in the cold by this individual, or you possibly feeling ghosted um, somehow, some way, okay, you could be dealing with the Libra as well, all right, you're wanting some sort of balance in the situation between you and the person that you're dealing with, okay, the person that you're dealing with has the moon card, so you could be dealing with the Pisces, all right, so they're holding back right now, they're kind of like not expressing their feelings towards you at the current moment, um, there could have been some sort of a missed opportunity between you and the person that you're dealing with at some point in time, okay? But whoever this is, they tend to keep their emotions to themselves or maybe act a bit mysterious, but they're, they're not expressing anything towards you, okay? Why is it all happening? The four swords in reverse. So somebody came back around, or if, if someone hasn't come back around, I'm seeing somebody, there's a return of someone here from the past, Taurus, all right? It's either somebody came back around or will be coming back around. It looks like somebody here wants a second chance. So why is this judgment here? What can you tell me about the judgment card? Clarify the judgment for me, please. What can you tell me about the judgment card here? Why the judgment? And the high priestess in reverse. So you're somebody here wants to express to you. I feel like somebody here wants to express to you about having a second chance. Okay, it could be you or it could be them. You could be dealing with the Virgo as well, okay? So, somebody here wants to express the fact that they want a second chance with you. Why is this Five of Pentacles here? Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Clarify this Five of Pentacles, please. Why is this here? And the Three of Cups in reverse. So, um, this is someone that you're not coming together with, or there's a lack of coming together or reconciling right now at the current moment for some of you, all right, with that Three of Cups in reverse. Okay, um... So you feel left out in the cold or abandoned by this person. And the fact that you're not coming together makes you feel left out in the cold, okay? So tell me about this. You could be dealing with the water sign here, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So why is this uh, Libra card here? Why is this Justice here? Tell me about the Justice card. To clarify the Justice. Why is this here? And the Death card. So you're wanting some sort of transformation. Something here definitely ended between the two of you, obviously. And there is distance here is what I'm seeing. But somebody here wants to come out of that or out of the cold or out of a, a point in time where, you know, you guys were, you know, separated. But somebody here wants to come out of that and express the fact that they want a second chance with you. All right. It could be dealing with the Scorpio as well. So what's going on here? So tell me about this Pisces. Um... Tell me about the, the moon card for Taurus's person, please. What can you tell me about this moon card? Clarify the moon card for me, please. Why the moon? And the seven of swords. Ooh, somebody here. Okay, so whoever this is, they're hiding. They, they're keeping some sort of secrets or some... There was some sort of deception that's surrounding this whole uh, reading here between you and the person that you're dealing with. Uh, Taurus, all right? So whoever this is, they were keeping secrets about some sort of deception here, hence why it could have been some sort of, uh,
could have been a third party situation that you dropped as well. Either you dropped or they dropped, Taurus. But somebody here was being very deceptive and they were hiding secrets, being secretive about some sort of deception is here. Okay, so somebody here was not having the best intentions. Okay, because obviously the Seven of Swords and the Moon card just doesn't pop out out of nowhere for nothing. You know what I mean? And I guess this led to some sort of missed opportunity between the two of you. All right. There could, there's, there were secrets or something here that was revealed for some of you as well. It could have been about a third party situation, hence why you feel left out in the cold. Now somebody wants to come back and return. All right. It's either they came back already or they will be coming back around. Why is this four of swords here in reverse, please? Tell me about this four of swords in reverse. Tell me about the four of swords in reverse. Clarify this for me, please. I'm just trying to find a right. Tell me about the four swords here. Tell me about why is this here. So somebody here is really... Okay, so somebody here definitely wants to come back around, but they're kind of like really stuck in their head about this because they know they fucked up. Okay? It could be you, it could be them. But somebody here is really in their head about a comeback around or coming back around because they know what they did was wrong here. They know that there was some sort of deceptionist, okay, that could have been some sort of cheating, a third party, maybe, okay. Um, but now they're wanting to come out of that and express the fact that they do want a second chance with you. And the fact that they do want a second chance with you has them stuck up in their head. And they're having, like, rest this night, okay. This is probably all they think about. All right. So how does this, how does Taurus see this person, please? What can you tell me? How does Taurus see this person? How does Taurus see this person? You see them as someone who dropped you to pentacles in reverse. So you view this person as someone who just basically dropped you and probably ghosted you for someone else. Okay, it could it could have been that. It could be done with the earth sign. I said that already, right? I think I did. So why is this two of pentacles here in reverse? Clarify the two of pentacles. Why is this two here? And you view them as someone who severed ties with you. All right, so you basically view this person that you're dealing with, Taurus, as someone who just basically cuts you off. Probably could have, to, maybe to be with someone else at the, at the time. All right, but you view this person or you see this person as someone who severed ties with you and dropped you. All right, you can be done with the air sign. So how does this person view Taurus, please? What can you tell me? How does this person view Taurus? They view you as they view you as someone who could possibly ignore me. Be you could be ignoring them right now, Taurus. For some of you, because they view you as they see you as the two of swords in reverse. Maybe they view you as someone who is ignoring them right now. All right. Why is this two of swords here? Tell me about the two of swords. Clarify the two of swords. Why the two? And they view you as someone. Okay, so. Five of Cups in Reversed. They view you as someone who is really not grieving this anymore. Alright? Maybe they feel they view you or they see you as someone who's basically getting over this or ignoring them. Alright? And for some of you, they still view you as someone who's grieving over this situation. Okay? Or, or you know, maybe not making a decision or, or some sort. But this person view, thinks that you... Uh, that you are getting, that you're over this, all right, or that you're not as, as uh, hurt by this as you once were, okay? I forgot to clarify the Four of Cups. Tell me about this Four of Cups, please. Clarify this Four of Cups. Tell me about this Four of Cups in reverse. Why is this here? And the Ten of Wands, so... I, I feel like this missed opportunity kind of stresses them out, like, you know, on some level, because they know that they um, they messed up on some sort of level with this Ten of Wands, so I think they're, it looks like, it could be done with the Fire Sign as well, but there's a, a missed opportunity here, and it's, like, stressing them out right now, hence why you have the Nine of Swords here, because, you know, they do want a second chance, they just don't think maybe they think you're over it or they you know they think that you won't give them a second chance here but you kind of do feel ghosted by this person 
and completely dropped. And now they want to come back around for a second chance. So what's the possible outcome for the situation, please? What can you tell me? What's the possible outcome for the situation for now until the end of August? What's the possible outcome here? The Wheel of Fortune. So I'm seeing things changing, all right? So we're dealing with the Sagittarius. But uh, there's some sort of change that's going to be happening. Tell me about the, the possible outcome for this situation, please. What can you tell me? What is this? The Ten of Swords in reverse. All right, so this is definitely an ending, getting over an ending here. Give me one more card for the possible outcome, please. What can you tell me? On the Temperance in reverse. Why is all this happening? What can you tell me? Why is all this happening, please? It's all happening to the Ten of Pentacles. So I'm seeing things continue, continue to be really unstable between the two of you. All right, there is an ending. I'm seeing you guys, I'm seeing, I'm seeing you getting over. I'm actually not seeing this having a second chance or if anything, because I'm, it, this is kind of like a wishy-washy energy. Like maybe you're just not sure about this connection. Give me one more card. Why is all happening, please? Why is all this happening? Yeah, I'm seeing you just basically moving away to calmer waters from this situation. You know, completely detaching yourself. I'm not seeing this being a second chance between you two. If anything, I'm seeing you just getting over this ending. You're going to have some time to heal, though. There is going to be a little a period of time where uh, you need some sort of healing done, okay, with this temperance and reverse. But eventually, I feel like you will get there. Um, you're just going to be moving on from this, okay? So that was your reading, um, Taurus. I uh, hope it resonated. If, you, if it did, like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.